Hi guys, how you doing? DJ AJ 101 here again. I'm back, nice and quick to give you a little quick tutorial on how I'm going to install this right back here, this Western Digital Velociraptor, inside my new Mac Pro. But now the first hard drive bay is actually filled with a one terabyte hard drive that's stacked standard uh, standard from Apple. So I'm going to be replacing that and putting the OS on a Western Digital 10,000 RPM Velociraptor. It's 300 gigabytes in size, and that'll hopefully speed this guy up even more with the two new Intel Westmere Xeons that it's running. So we're gonna, I'm just going to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to do this. It's really, really easy. You unlock this latch right here, make sure it's up. You can remove any one of these hard drive bays. Of course, we're going to remove the main one for now because we want to pull out this hard drive right here, which is one terabyte in size. And all we're going to basically do is set it down like so, and we're just going to unscrew it. Really, really simple. You just unscrew the screws. And we're going to pop it right on this guy over here. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I know it's it's a little boring. Don't don't worry. You're not missing too much. I just want to replace the stock standard so I can get this guy up and running. Hopefully before too long. That easy. It's off the bracket. Here's the drive. Like I said, stock standard from Apple. Nothing really special. And now here's the Western Digital Velociraptor. Sorry if you guys can't see that. Standard plug-in. It's going to plug in the same way as the old drive did. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay that guy flat just like the last one. We're just going to kind of line up the holes. going to screw it in. And that's it. Sorry, I probably made a jump cut there just to get through it quicker. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take it just like the last drive, and you guys probably can't see it, but there's a little connector in there. It's really, really far in there, but it has the exact same connector as this SATA port. And so what it's basically going to do is, just like the last drive, we're just going to put it on its little brackets here. Little sliders, it's going to slide and click right in. And all we got to do is close it up, put down this latch, locks the drives, locks the door, boom, you're done. Just that simple to install a hard drive or even solid state drive with a special bracket into your Mac Pro. Alright guys, this has been DJ AJ 101 here, just a quick little tutorial on how I'm going to install which I just did, my Western Digital Velociraptor inside this Mac Pro. More videos to come, including a review, so stay tuned to the channel. Until next time, guys, you have a good one.